Well, our protagonist, Joe Gardner, is a middle school band teacher. He's a middle-aged black man living in Queens, New York, where he's from. But Joe has always dreamed of being something else. Um, in his heart, he's a, he's a musician at heart. And since he was very young, Joe always wanted to be a professional jazz musician. You could say that jazz music is the dream that Joe's been pursuing on nights and weekends his entire adult life. So when we find Joe in the beginning of the film, um, he's been a teacher for several years, but he's basically on the day where he's about to get his first really, really big break. The Great Before is a place where new souls, before they are born, are given their personality and trained by mentors who are souls who've lived amazing lives. Now, Joe very quickly figures out what's going on in the place and decides he's gonna get back to his body. He's gonna sneak, he's gonna trick his way back into his body. So what he does is he pretends to be a counselor um, in hopes of getting paired with one of these unborn souls and then stealing their ticket to earth and using it instead to get back to his body. Unfortunately, the soul that Joe gets paired up with is soul number 22, who is notoriously the most difficult soul to ever exist. She's been there quite literally thousands of years and refuses to go to Earth. She cannot get a ticket, she cannot get her Earth badge to, to change because she thinks that there's nothing good about going to Earth. So we have this situation where we have a soul who doesn't want to die being stuck with a soul who doesn't want to live. Joe Gardner is voiced by Jamie Foxx, just such an incredible actor, comedian, musician. It's almost as if you, if there was a computer program where you wanted to feed all these traits into the program and, and ask for like, okay, feed all the traits for the perfect person to play Joe Gardner, it would spit out Jamie Foxx. Um, he has the dramatic chops to play Joe in these emotional moments. He's a natural born comedian for the, the humorous parts. And of course, not only does he understand music, he's a musician himself who's also a pianist. For the role of 22, um, she was played by Tina Fey, just an incredible comedian, writer, and actor. Um, 22, we wanted someone who was a sardonic, sarcastic wit. And that kind of like explains the, describes the comedy of Tina Fey in a, in a nutshell. Um, when, when looking for someone to play a know-it-all, basically a know-it-all teenager who quite literally knows it all, going back to Tina's work on, on SNL, on the Weekend Update desk, to 30 Rock, so many of her characters like really embrace this, this almost like mean sar sarcasm in their comedy that, that we thought would be a great balance uh, matchup to, to Jamie's character of Joe.